Yeah, before we start today's video, guys, if you like to earn free money and you like to buy stuff from the Call of Duty store, if you guys want to go over to Fruit Labs, you can watch videos and you can upload videos and earn money. If you like to buy stuff from the store like this right here, say if you want to buy the... I don't know like something like this if you want this watch or any of these weapons in general you guys can use my referral link sign up and you guys can start uploading and watching videos to earn money so all you gotta do go in the description or use the comment like my pinned comment and you guys can start go ahead and go over there and make sure to go follow me on there because I'm getting close to 500 followers I do upload on there every day crazy clips from streams and everything like that you guys will enjoy it so make sure to go over there fruit labs and sign up today let's go ahead and get in today's video <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Paradox here, bringing you guys another Call of Duty video to the channel here. Now today guys, we're going to go over the best 5 class setups after update 1.12. Now I know update 1.12 came out a long time ago, but I haven't really had time to make this video. So I've been super busy with stuff like that, of course. But today guys, I finally got you guys with the video as you guys requested. You guys have been requesting it for a good bit, which I do apologize for not making the video. I do have a, more, a couple more videos that you guys have recommended in the comment section. So if there's any type of video in the comment section uh, that you want to see, make well not in the comment section, but if you guys want to see any videos, make sure to leave me a note in the comment section on what kind of video you'd like to see because I will make them for you guys, of course. So let's go ahead and we're going to get into the best five class setups. So... As you see, number one, we have the Kilo. Now, this is the Brass Tax variant. It's the Gucci Snake, whatever you want to call it. Now, with this class, I like to run Mollusk Suppressor. I like to run Tactical Grip, well, Foregrip, 100 Round Drum Mag, Graduated Grip Tape, and the GI Mini Reflex. Now, have you guys? if you guys have noticed, I've been running the Mollusk Suppressor on a lot of my weapons here lately. Now, why I run the Mollusk Suppressor is because it gives us damage, more damage at range. So we're going to be able to get, say if it um, at a certain range, it's a 5 hit, it's going to extend that 5 hit to a longer range. So I'll be able to win that gunfight from a longer range. Say if someone's running a Marksman Rifle, I will be able to match up with them instead of them just going to be able to beat me right off the rip of the you know of course the gunfight which with me if you guys know i literally push anything it could be five people and if i have a pistol i will push those people with a pistol you guys know how i am so i like to be able to have a better advantage against other people so that is it one thing next tactical foregrip now the only reason i'm running this because well two reasons it gives us aiming stability and as well the grip is red i just i just felt like that it's pretty cool not gonna lie Next is the 100 drum round mag. Now, this just makes it an LMG at a point, which is really good. And as well, it's just nice. 100 clips in a mag. You don't have to reload as much. This is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I would say I could probably kill about 16, 17 people with one clip in the kilo with the 100 round uh, drum mag, which is pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Next, I am running Graduated Grip Tape. It gives us aiming stability and walk aiming walking steadiness. Now, this is when you're like aiming down sights, going around a corner or something like that. And if you're pre-aiming, you're not you're, you're not going to be you know go everywhere, swaying everywhere and stuff like that. And then next, the GI Mini Reflex. Now, the GI Mini Reflex is my favorite red dot sight or reticle in the game, and um, it's just optic. It's just my favorite optic. And of course, we're running the blue dot the blue dot is i finally got blue dot and i honestly like blue dot honestly do i like it i'm glad i got it and of course for the secondary run in the deagle now there's only a certain amount of perks i run for the deagle now what i'm running is monolithic suppressor of course forge tack and forcer barrel it gives us a better damage at range next we're running the heavy duty barrel oh do barrel trigger so it gives us aiming stability and as well aiming steady walking steadiness next we're running graduated grip tape and then we're running attack laser for the aim down sight speed and the aiming stability because with the pistol you know how the deagle is when you shoot it literally goes up into the air of course so you want to be able to if you have to you know aim at the head shoot it doesn't move up or anything like that so you want to be accurate of course then next i am running eod restock shrapnel those are really the only perks i run in the game now here recently i might switch out eod because here recently eod has not been working like i've been getting hit one hit by c4s claymores stuff like that it's just it's not working so what i might either run i might run double double time scavenger or quick fix so i am not 100 percent sure but i will let you guys know what like if in another class setup video what i do run 
and then restock of course shrapnel are really good now for this class i am running claymores and in every class i run stem shot so i won't go over the tacticals but for the lethals i do run the claymore Next, the MP5. Now, you guys know the MP5 class it up. You, if you saw my video about getting a triple nuke, choking a penta nuke, which would have been world's first solo. Now, this is a really good class. I like to use it a lot. Now, I like to use Merc foregrip, the 10 millimeter round clip, dippled grip tape, sleight of hand, and the FTAC clap stock. This is a really good class. It's a very rushy, being aggressive type of player class if you are aggressive. And it's a really good competitive class. I've been playing like 1v1s and stuff on stream when people talk crap to me and stuff like that and this class just melts them beating people like 250 to like 12 and stuff like that. It's, it's really funny make sure you guys if you like to see that type of stuff make sure to go to my twitch i do live stream every night around 2 3 in the morning great time over there we're getting super close hitting partnership if you guys want to go over there jump follow and turn on noties always a great time over there and i'm uh thinking about doing a giveaway over there here soon so as well if you'd like some free stuff make sure to go over there as well so for this class as well, we're running the combat knife. If you run combat knife, if you have it out, of course, you guys know this as well, probably. You you can run super fast, so if you're you know getting to a point A to point B, you need to get there fast, just pull out the knife and you can be able to you know, run fast. And with this class, I am running the C4. Uh, C4, I like to have this because I, if I, you know, run out of ammo or need to reload, there's multiple people, I'll just chuck a, a C4 over there, double tap square, get them, or get them weak. So that's a good class. Next is the M4A1. Now this is a class I like to run as well. This is a nice new class. The, the platinum on this camo, the platinum is just amazing. This is like my favorite camo in the game. But what I'm running on it is monolithic suppressor, commando foregrip, stippled grip tape, sleight of hand, and the Syngard Arms Invader stock. This is a, another rushing slash stealthy type class. I like to use this class in ground war a lot. And this is the class I pretty much drop a lot of my nukes with on streams as well. And then we're running the Deagle. Now this Deagle class is a bit different. Now what we're running is the Muzzle Break, Forge Tack Enforcer, Tack Laser, Heavy Duty Trigger, and then the Graduated Grip Tape. So this class is a bit different, but I just trying some different stuff out. And I, I'm, I try not to have the classes all the same. You know, the perks are already the same, and most of the tacticals and lethals are the same. So I try not to, you know, make every class the same. So if you know what I mean. And then what I'm running on this class is the proximity mines and EOD restock shrapnel, of course. So that is it. Next is the MP7. Now that I have changed this class up a bit, you guys know of the red dot sight on it. Now this is a new class. This is the suppressor class. This is a rushing type stealthy class once again. Now what I'm running on it is monolithic suppressor, the FSS recon barrel, ranger foregrip, 60 round clip, and the graduated grip tape. Super nice weapon. I enjoy this class a lot as well. We're running the combat knife once again, and then we're running the Simtex. But with this class, we are running Battle Harden. This is a different type of class. I like to use this class a little bit better. Now with restock, this is recharge your equipment over 30 seconds. But this one, instead of shrapnel, we don't get um, an extra uh, tactical and lethal. We're just running Battle Harden just because it gives us a stun, uh, reduce effectiveness, and as well from stuns, flashes, EMP drones, and stuff like that. So Battle Harden does need a buff, but I still use it. It does help out a lot, especially on shipment. If this is a really good class for shipment, and then we're running Simtex as well. So that is it. Next is the P90 class setup. Now this is a rushing class. This is a good shipment class as well. Now what I'm running on it is the monolithic suppressor, forge tack rep uh, retribution barrel, tack blazer, stipple grip tape, and stipple grip tape once again. This is a good class as well. I like to use this a lot on shipment. Now I'm running C4s on this one and the Deagle with the suppressor on it instead of the muzzle brake. So that is it. So that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you are new to the channel, do make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, and do all that good stuff. Because we are on the urge of getting to 50,000 subs. Now my goal is to hit 50,000 subs by the end of January. We're going to start off 2020 as a great year. Uh, this is going to be the year we hit 100,000 subs. We're going to be just doing everything this year. This is the year, guys. I just want to say thank you guys for the support here recently. You guys have been killing it. You new ones for this week. We've gained about 500 subs this week. And I just want to say thank you guys for the support. It does mean a lot. And as well, if you guys want to go check out my Twitch, I am getting super close. And I mean, when I mean super close, super close to hitting Twitch partner. 
if you guys want to go over there I do give away some stuff on there and I'm probably do like monthly or every other month of giveaways and stuff like that G fuel controllers you know control freaks and all that so if you guys like that stuff as well go over there drop a follow turn on notice I do live stream every morning two or three in the morning so that is it thank you guys I do hope you enjoy today's video peace